Hello, I'm Robert Winfield from the University of Kansas Medical Center, and I'm going to speak to you about handling difficult situations in the workplace. I have no financial disclosures, but I do want to point out that the advice provided here does not constitute legal advice by me or my employer. I'll start by discussing the handling of the disruptive or poorly performing employee. First, you want to get ahead of these situations. If you have an existing policy, be familiar with it. If you don't have one, create one ahead of time. If you're having a problem with an employee, do not beat around the bush. Point out the issues and give the person a chance to correct. Documentation is a must. Be very detailed in these situations. And as you deal with situations like this, talk to human resources and get their input on how to handle things. Not infrequently, crossover can occur between poor performance and mental illness, so these scenarios warrant special mention. First, people with mental illness are potentially protected by the Americans with Disabilities Act. This does not mean, though, that poor performance must be tolerated. If mental illness is claimed as justification, employers can request certification or a second opinion related to the diagnosis. As with any of these scenarios, documentation is critical in justifying action taken regarding a poorly performing or disruptive employee. The same principles apply to individuals with substance abuse disorders. It is important in these cases to avoid attempting to diagnose or treat these problems. In this situation, you're a supervisor or employer, not the individual's physician. Know about the resources at your institution for people suffering from these conditions. And finally, a discussion about poor performance may be an opportunity for someone to let you know about a problem that they're having. Always encourage an open dialogue. We'll move now to a discussion of dealing with harassment. First, harassment, whether witnessed or rumored, must be reported to appropriate institutional entities in a confidential way. If it has been reported to you by someone, assure that person that their concern will be addressed per protocol and that they are safe from retaliation. And don't forget about the accused. Notify them that a complaint has been filed and that an investigation will follow. It may feel difficult, slow, and in some cases may lead to an unexpected outcome, but commit to abiding by the process and the decision. Take advantage of the opportunity to remind others of harassment policies that are in place. And finally, continue to observe for behavior consistent with harassment or retaliation. Avoid taking action without a report and investigation. This can lead to additional trouble. When you have a poorly performing employee, utilize open dialogue to unmask ongoing harassment. And finally, behave with integrity in these situations for the benefit of all involved. Some general take home points for handling these difficult workplace scenarios are to anticipate them and know what you're going to do before they happen. Know your institutional policies and resources, but most of all, behave consistently and with integrity when dealing with these difficult scenarios. 